Here's another neat little AM FM receiver made in the Philippines. You can see the uh, face plate there is uh, broken loose, just taped on. The tuning mechanism is froze up. When I rotate that, you can see the dial pointer is uh, froze up. It really won't move much at all. Just a little bit to the uh, left. Here's the uh, dial cover. I'm turning the uh, tuning capacitor, but nothing's happening there. Put it over on FM. All right, let me uh, take this thing apart and see what we got. Runs off of a, a nine volt battery that I just stuck in here. Looks like it just snaps in place. You see the uh, FM antenna lead. I'm assuming the blue lead here, not even attached to the uh, telescopic antenna. Looks like seven transistors. Yep, eight. I had missed one there. Interesting, the uh, tuner mechanisms on this side. And you can see the uh, capacitor, the variable capacitors on this side. So it makes you wonder if this thing is driven by a uh, dial cord or other underneath. Let me uh, remove these fasteners. Looks like I've got one, two, three, four, maybe five. Okay, just the uh, three larger screws to get that out. And the uh, nut itself here for the uh, audio jack. And there is a dial cord. Just what I expected since the um, frequency changer was over on this side. So it's not broke. It was just seized up or something there. Let's power this back up and see what it does. So she's playing. The uh, FM side is playing as well. Again, the uh, broken lead. I've just, just got a uh, like a three-foot jumper on here. Okay, I cannot replicate what had this thing froze up. Let's see if I can clean up some of the uh, tape residue and see what it's going to take to uh, glue down the uh, dial cover as well, which is a little deformed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and desolder the leads going to the uh, little speaker. And there's just a few uh, E-caps in here. I think while I um, get this thing apart, if I've got the uh, values, I'll replace what I have on hand. Just cleaning the uh, circuit board here for this uh, first E-cap located here using some alcohol and just an acid brush. I'll get my uh, solder wick out and uh, go ahead and break this loose. Ensure I have the uh, polarity correct as well. Okay, with my old eyes, it's easy to make a mistake here on the circuit board. So uh, one cap at a time and then testing the AM and FM band is to ensure that uh, the receiver is still operational. So uh, one cap down, and a few more to go. Okay, another capacitor down uh, right in this area. It's on the audio output side, 100 microfarads. Seems to uh, cleaned up the audio a little bit as well. All right, let me move on to the next one. All right, the third cap down, everything seems to be uh, working okay. Okay, just got the uh, last cap replaced. All 
Okay, I think I figured out what the uh, dial string was hung up on. This uh, screw right here was loose about three or four turns. And I think the uh, dial string or dial cord had slipped from um, the uh, groove location on the shaft back up underneath this area and had seized up. So that's my best guess on uh, what was causing that to occur. Let me put this back in the little plastic uh, case. Hey guys, one thing that's common, you can hear the uh, speaker. Kind of a high pitch again, it's the uh, shaping of the audio signal. I actually add a capacitor across the uh, speaker terminals around uh, 47 microfarads and uh, kind of reshape the uh, audio, remove some of the uh, treble and uh, pass more of the bass. So it's really a, a personal preference, again, just the way this particular little speaker sounds. Okay, guys, I got everything back together, less getting the uh, little metal excursion back on. And the uh, clear plastic over the uh, dial scale itself, but uh, the radio's playing uh, pretty well. I'll uh, get this cleaned up and uh, glued back on, do a little bit more cleaning on the little plastic case and um, call this one done. Thanks for watching.